There is our African lilies. Well, it's Saturday the 3rd of August. I'm saying goodbye for a moment or a few moments to my parrot, Amazonia. And I'll be heading out to the farmer's market. I hope that I meet you there. In the meantime, take a quick look at some of the stuff that I have in our apartment. Um, a new crop of arugula. Hey, a pepper plant. Here's some peppers. Oh, what's left of the um, basil and coriander. And a new pepper plant coming up there. Some thick leaf thyme plant. Wonderful herb and uh, jasmine that will not flower anymore. An avocado, and it's right next to one of my Canadian Mennonite magazines. Good morning! How are you? <laughs> <laughs> not dancing, let's go. Weapon, this looks like food. <laughs> It's zucchini. I know, but it's a monster zucchini. And Caden, uh, I picked these. He picked beans for you yesterday too. Huh. For the night table. And this is the night table, and and these are all fresh picked before Isn't we Isn't that wonderful, Carson? Zucchini. Thanks for making sure your mom called me yesterday. Was uh, that was Ian. The boy from Taiwan. Oh! <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. He took my message. Oh, okay. No. Well, that's nice of you to donate something. Thank you. Well, and the kids all helped. They yeah. went out to the garden when they found out. Okay. So and I picked the zucchini. Do you want me to He picked the zucchini and he picked all of the beans. No, I picked and some beans. You picked like 5% of them. Yeah. And then so t tell, the, tell the audience, what's your name? Carson. Carson. Yeah. Caden. Caden. And those folks are? These two girls are just arrived from Paris, France on our farm. Holy smokes. Bonjour. Comment ça va? <laughs> and this is Delphine. Delphine. And Pauline. Uh, hi, Pauline. Hi. And how long will you be here? One month. One month. So they're gonna, you're going to get to see them four Saturdays in a row. Oh, man. My pleasure. <laughs> He has. He picked these zucchinis for night's table. He has these Max. monster zucchinis <laughs> for the night's table. Yeah, and the kid and picked the beans. the beans. Yeah. Well, thank you so very You're much. You're very welcome. Here. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what you've given to the night's yeah. table. That's great. John, you Are you cold? I am. You need a hug. You know what the problem is? When I'm tired, I've been working long hours this week, and when I'm tired, I'm much more sensitive to the temperature. <laughs> April Hudson from Perfect Kitchen yes. is donating to the night's table. Yes. And there's her bag of goodies. Yep. There's some organic veg in there, mm -hmm. and uh, some cookies, and some preserves as well. Thank you so much, Ebra. Thank you so very, very much. Can I leave it? Yep. Pick it up later? Yep. Uh, have you ever visited a night stable? I haven't, no. Yeah. So next year I got to visit. I should do. Yeah, I want to do a little special on them, including some of the people who have already donated, you know, like Khaled on Lamb give a roast, for example. Wow. You know, so things like that. That's awesome. Yep. That's great. Donated, of course, a night's table, and I thank you very much. My pleasure. This night's table there all year round? Yes. Yep. It's remarkable hot food. They actually cook on the premises. Right on. Yes, right on the premises. Awesome. Good morning.
morning. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you very much. Good. Enjoy a long weekend. No, your wife looks absolutely wonderful. <laughs> well, I am with Akachi Farms, and these wonderful, generous people are donating to the Knight's Table. And the Knight's Table, of course, cooks for people who really are needy. And thank you so much for your donation. Um, who am I speaking with? My name is Yvonne Kabea. Kabea, Yvonne. Gucci Onapope. Gucci. Gilbert Shumanga. Shumanga. And who is this wonderful lady? My daughter, uh, Princess Duby Onapope. <laughs> Duby. Duby Maybe You know, that's so very, very good of you. And if in the future, while you're here, towards the end of the day, you want to put aside anything else for the night, so we'll just, just, just let me know. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. God bless you. Okay. What's the young lady's name? Uh, the Oh, <laughs> can I have a uh, hmm? Doobie. 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 How do you spell that? I think D U D U B I. Oh, she speaks <laughs> up too. That's good. <laughs> So Janet, uh, magic of mushrooms and Little Rock Honey is going to make a donation to the less fortunate through the night's table. Thank you so much, Janet. No problem. My pleasure. Good. Good to see you. I was telling your husband not too long ago. I was so disappointed that only he was here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have him here. He's the farmer. <laughs> so, Richard, Richard and, and, Brooke. and Brooke. And they've been here for several weeks. But this is the first year. And apparently having a good, um, good response. Anything you want to tell your audience? You've got a All our meat is hormone free, antibiotic oh, free, that's pretty important. grown, grain fed, and lean. That's wonderful. Thank you. I'm talking to Richard Lyons of Caledon, the Caledon Lamb. Yeah. Uh, Richard, I normally buy lamb from a wonderful place called Costco. I love the quality of their stuff and their, uh, their consumerism. But unfortunately for me, their lamb cannot, does not taste as good as what I bought from you. 
you know, yours was already seasoned, by the way, but even so, it was so tasty. Why? What's the difference in taste? Well, all of our lamb is local, and it's all from Canada. When you get in major grocery stores, a lot of what you have is something from Australia or New Zealand. Well, what's the difference? They raise it differently than we do. It's not as fresh, obviously, because obviously it's coming from overseas. Oh, okay. Right? It's sitting on an airplane for a day. Uh -huh. So, local, and all of our things cut the day before. Like on Fridays is when everything's cut and packaged. What about the feeding? Is there a difference in what, how you... We may put a better quality feed into them, which helps create taste and a better meat. What about hormones? No hormones, no antibiotics. Okay. Naturally raised. Does that make a big... You know, I said before, the taste is so obvious. Yours is so wonderful. And I always thought that Costco, what I bought from Costco is great. And it is great, but yours is exceptional. So is it a hormone-free and antibiotic-free? Uh if, if it's a major grocery store, if it's from New Zealand or Australia, they might just be feed, they might be just on pasture. It might be a different mm -hmm. style of raising them, mm -hmm. which will make a difference. Okay. So. Well, my wife is very happy. Well, that's Oh, it's a wonderful, glorious morning. A bit cool for August. I guess about 15 degrees. It's quarter of eight, according to the clock up there. And you know I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to go check on what's left of our community garden. Let's see. We still have some cabbage. Hmm. The tomatoes are getting a chance to grow. We've lost quite a few. These are destined for the disadvantage through night stable. But I've taken quite a few of the green tomatoes. And for those who are not aware, green tomatoes are a delicacy so perhaps later today I'll I'll harvest some more of the green tomatoes and leave them to ripen or take them uh, later this afternoon if I collect some more uh, contributions from some of the farmers I'll take it to the night stable on Glidden Road uh, the peppers And a few small eggplants. Boy, it's busy today. Of course, it's a great sunny day.
You really do well in explaining what you what well, you I offer. I like food, and I'm also a writer. So I'm an you are. And writer. Ah. For which publications? Uh, I'm freelance at the moment, and I have my online blog. He has the best real pizza. What's the name of your blog? Showtimechocolate.com. Hmm. What's your background? Nationality-wise? No, I mean business-wise. Uh, marketing professional, public relations, event planner, editorial writer, journalist. And the name of your your company is? Oh, it's uh, we're in transition right now. It's Showtime Chocolate is the perfect place to go. Showtimechocolate.com. Your name? Victoria. Victoria. And the name of your company is Eudorus mm -hmm. Fine Foods. A friend of mine. He named this company after his, fa uh, his father, after his mother. Ah, Well, uh, tell the viewers your name again. Okay, my name is Victoria K. I'm a friend of Stephen Bass, the owner of Eudora's. That's V A S S? V A Z. V A Z. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephen Bass, and he took his mother's and family traditional recipes and he preserved them. And they're all made from fresh local produce, as whenever, locally sourced whenever possible, mm -hmm. all organic products. He prides himself on the quality of the ingredients. That's important. That is very mm -hmm. important. Okay. He's even, his next set of labels are even going to be made from recycled products. Like he's Good. trying to go as green as possible. Mm -hmm. um, every ingredient is the best of its best. Well, you got some folks who are looking for your organic stuff Thank there. You. Brampton. I'm made here in Brampton. Yeah. If you look at the labels, it all says Brampton, Ontario. Mm -hmm. yeah. So made from family traditional recipes and all preserved using the best quality ingredients as possible. Condiment addition. Okay, so for cooking is the vindaloo. Wonderful, nice. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It's a wonderful sauce. And what's nice about it is it's got the heat, but the pungency of flavors that follow afterwards are made on your palate. Now, what's nice is for after cooking, as a condiment, the Diablo is the hottest or the carrot pickle what you put on afterwards. afterwards. And that, what's nice is, especially for leftovers, if you have leftovers the next day, just put a little, little half of this kind of a spoon into it and it changes the entire flavor of leftovers. The chutneys, the shelf life of knees are pretty long, but of course, you won't want to have it last that long with your bowl. Who am I meeting? I'm Jeff. This is my wife, Elizabeth. Hi. And this is Chrome on the Range. It's not home on the range, but Chrome on the Range. So we offer up a lot of comfort food here at the Brampton Farmers Market. We're also down at Gage Park, Tuesdays and Thursday nights. And uh, you can find us down there during the week, the month of August. And we offer up comfort food. So here at Chrome on the Range at the Farmers Market, we do the uh, Harry Dale, the all-day breakfast sandwich. So we uh, source locally from our market here. Um, Cody's Cows, blessed with our lovely uh, eggs, which we make our breakfast sandwich with. Uh -huh. Which is a uh, beautifully poached egg on an English muffin <laughs> with uh, a little mayo and a little bit of uh, spinach. spinach. And you have a choice of cheese or uh, pea milk as well. Where, where do you source your eggs? Cody's Cows. And we, also serve up, them, yeah. uh, we also serve up um, grilled cheese sandwiches, multi-grain bread, we use grilled cheese. Oh. Pea meal on a bun. We do pea meal on a bun. Mm -hmm. And you may have, a, may have a customer here. Yeah. Hi, can we help you? Good morning to you. Have you shopped here before? Have you bought from them before? Yeah. So this is a repeat customer. 
Yes, sir. This gentleman comes by all the time with his son. He knows it's fresh, he knows it's real, he knows it's good. You can check us out on, uh, online at um, facebook.com slash chrome on the range or on Twitter at chrome range, C-H-R-O-M-E-R-A-N-G-E. Good. And I'll follow you there right, as well on my, um, on my account. Give us a like and give us a follow. We appreciate it. Good. And I'll probably see you later. Okay, sir. Thank Thanks you. very much. John. <laughs> So, 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 you come Larry, ah. <laughs> where's your wife? And, In bed. So, it's, uh, you make use of the entire animal. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Larry is asking you something. No, I'm sorry, Larry. It's a very strong, twisty meat. It is not. What it is, is a very lean meat. So, when you uh, have fat content, because there's not a lot of fat content, you can make it tougher than what it actually is. You've got to treat it like a piece of veal. Veal is very, very lean. Same with deer meat. So the trick is that it is a, a true red meat, but it means because it doesn't have any fat in it, you have to cook it slow and low. And it truly, it has mm, not one iota taste like, does it taste like So it would be a good candidate for a slow cook. It, it, it is, but you I, I roast them in the, a, a nice shoulder roast or a leg roast makes an amazing gravy in the oven and I just cook it on low and slow, you know, and... When you say um, low, what temperature would you be cooking that at? 300. 300? Yeah. Uh, Jeannie is explaining to Larry, For goat, and the difference between uh, goat and lamb. Goat is uh, 122 calories compared to pork, which is 310, lamb, that's 235. For fat content, it has the lowest fat of even chicken has a higher fat than the so does lamb. Yeah. It has the lowest saturated fat of all meats. It has the highest protein though, which is interesting. And the highest in iron. And it has the lowest cholesterol. But again, it is a very, very lean soap. You know, it's not... Uh, See that? Oh. I've got it already. I'm done. And I got focaccia in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and your son is. Hey, look, that looks and, good. And cashmere from uh, goat's milk soup. Uh, soap soup. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, we so. milk we milk our cashmere, and we make uh, soap using one pound of milk for every three pound batch of soap. So the main ingredient in our soap is goat's milk. Say it again. Why do you keep that surprises me. video with me? Well, you're my because mom. you're a real person <laughs> in a market. What the hell? <laughs> Have you, um, this is your first purchase from them? Uh, no, I came last week or the week before. Okay. Yeah, I, I enjoy their goat. You have this on your website too? No. I did that up here because there's a lot of uh, misconceptions that an animal. I know they make wonderful breads. And it's we so keep buying, yeah. And what's the name of the organization? What's the name I'll of your? Albion Hills. Albion Hills. Yeah. 
but this will be ten dollars. Berry? Berry, the from yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Berry. Sorry. Yeah. So I've just bought two um, two loaves, and I'll be giving one to my neighbor. <laughs> and how are you doing? Takes requests to. <laughs> so don't be bashful, step right up. Thank you. Your 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 your, uh, your saxophone. Yeah. <laughs> the Cuban saxophone. The Cuban saxophone. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm at Rose Theater Square in Paris, Paris. Come and join us. Beautiful brand. Want to take a picture for? I usually post it uh, every Saturday. I do a, a movie. Okay. On a farmer's market. Sure. He's totally on there. It's not a big deal. <laughs> What's your name? Cameron. Cameron. How do you spell it? C A M E R O N. Oh, Cameron. Yeah. Okay. And yours? Bart. 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 Yeah. yeah. Bart, so you are at the official farmer's market booth. Correct. And you're supported. Any information about the city or the farmers market that you need? Okay. Absolutely. Well, you are supported by the Brampton the city Development Economic Development Office. Economic Development Office, and they have a a boot here somewhere. Uh, well, this is it. Oh, okay. We're we're like a, a branch. Like I was told to ask for some lady. Is it Denise or? Yeah, Denise is the market manager. She uh, she has all your hands. I see. Is she gonna be around later? Sorry. Yeah, she's here. Uh, she's probably just walking around talking to some Yeah. Stuff. Well, I've done um, I've done a movie for every Saturday's uh, market where I've interviewed various farmers. And, and visitors and post to them. I put them together as a movie. And um, you should check it out. Sure. On this website? Yep, YouTube. Okay. Just type my. So I'm here with Brampton Consignment. Michigan bags. Hi, so you're with Brampton Consignment. Right. And you've got a store where? On George Street behind City Hall. Uh, we're open Monday through Saturday. Every Saturday we can do different vendors during the farmer's market. We have uh, two special people outside selling some stuff. We also have specials every weekend. Today's buy one, get one free. Huh. And what is your name? My name's Faith. Faith? Faith. Yeah. And are you at the store every day as well? Yeah, I'm there. Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and 8 to 6 on Saturday. 
who owns or who organizes the Brampton consignment store? It's my store. I've been there since April of last year. Haha. I think I was interviewing someone last two weeks ago. They had a tea table in front of your store. Probably, yeah. We have yeah. different vendors. We have Sensi, we have Steep Tea, we have... Steep Tea. Yeah, today we have a lady selling Lululemon and Vent. So every Saturday we rotate two different people out front. Good. We have a little mini market over So I'm talking to Faith, <laughs> and she runs uh, Brampton Consignment. And of course I'm standing in on rows of Theatre Square. which sort of anchors the north and south sides of Main Street and the Brampton Farmer's Market. You should come down and visit if you have not. It's a wonderful place to be on Saturdays with the Brampton Farmer's Market and every day at the Theatre Square. So Faith, yes. I've got to stop in and see your store and talk to you a bit more. Okay, we're on 53 George Street South behind City Hall, right across from the underground parking. Mm -hmm. And there's also parking out back. There's often construction vehicles yeah. on the street, so there is parking available. That's a consignment store, so people consignment. bring... People bring me in items to sell. They stay in the store for four to six weeks, and when they sell, it's a 50-50 split. Good. And you've been around for how many years at the location? We opened the store last year in April, so good. about a year and a half now. Happy? Yeah, it's been really good. I've met a lot of great people being in Brampton. Lots of customers have become our friends, regulars. So it's been pretty rewarding. What do you say? So I give them everything, you know, but I, I use all these symbols. So if you go on the, the African style, what is the point of it? And that's Kojo talking to a potential customer, I guess. It's a busy day. Busy today, man. Busier than usual. That's what I do. Oh, cool. <laughs> You've seen them online, haven't you? No. My computer's not good enough for uh, online. Oh. What was your mom's computer? Uh, our computer is broken and uh, there was a storm. So you're the decoration? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, look at the size of that one. Oh my god, thank you. You're welcome. Here we go. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, thanks. What do you feed those things? What do you feed those? No, I mean, what do you give them to grow that large? Compost. Compost. Yeah. So Butch is preparing. And this is going to be going to the night stable.
down. Like this one. Um, I mean, Sheldon's gone today. We're going to try to be some family. They have a busy, they have a busy spot here. Yeah. 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 Well, I've really enjoyed over the years looking at this sculpture, sculpture in motion.